Okay, I was asked to talk a little bit about the Green Movement. The Green Movement is not a popular movement in Iran. In, in Iran. Unfortunately, it is a movement of a, the small, like, primarily upper classes in Iran. It does not reflect the popular movement. Ahmadinejad is actually a populist. He has gained a lot of support from the poor, especially the poor people in Iran, because he's encouraged um, public programs, which are going to be completely slashed if you looked at the news because of the sanctions. This has nothing to do with the government of Iran. It has to do with the United States. So what the United States has done is try to appeal to the upper classes, try to appeal to the slightly more privileged people in Iran to use them as a puppet and that's what they call the Green Movement. The Green Movement has symbolized leaders of the Green Movement have been um, close allies if not puppets of the United States when they were in power in Iran. The, and so basically that our position is that that movement cannot be trusted. It is an agent of U.S. imperialism and it should certainly not be supported. It's hard in the media in the United States to parse through this information, but in reality it's not a true democracy movement in Iran. A true democracy movement will come from all of the people and the people are not, are not supporting the movement in that way. The movement is not supported by Washington. Well, just as in, they, they've done this in Libya, they also did it in Iraq. What the movement, for example, the Green Movement, is it's kind of like a, a puppet, it's a proxy for war. Because it makes it seem like Iranians are kind of going to war with their own government. When in reality, it's receiving funds, it's receiving training. A lot of the people who are involved in this movement are actually educated in the United States. It's, it's pushed forward by the agenda of Washington, D.C. And, and Europe. So if it doesn't support outright war, it'll support civil war. And that's exactly what we saw in Iraq. That's what we saw in Libya. To the United States, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to have the people of Iran kill themselves than send American soldiers in to do dirty business.